We pulled a number, when I say we, the BTA, pulled a number of tourists in Bermuda. When they arrived and after they left. And what do you think their biggest concern was? Mr. Speaker, it was in your lift. Mr. Speaker, it was in restaurants. Mr. Speaker, it wasn't the fact that our beaches are overcrowded. Mr. Speaker, the thing that caused the most concern on record, documented, put in writing to the BTA was transportation, was local transportation. They lamented that once on Ireland, it was difficult, if not impossible, for them to be collected from the airport, to go to the hotels, to come back from the hotels, to go to events, to go out to dinner, and to come home. Now, remember what we're saying now. My twin brother made his life going to university as a taxi driver. My next door neighbor is a taxi driver. I have brothers in the PLP that are taxi drivers. You will never be able to tell your grandchildren that I spoke negatively about taxi drivers, taxi owners, taxi operators in Bermuda. But what we must discuss is that we now have an opportunity to hold each other accountable. Why? The call goes out to hold Skyport accountable. The call goes out to hold the Minutes of Tourism accountable. The call goes out to hold the CEO, the interim CTO of the, B of the Tourism Authority accountable. Now, if this accountability train is on the tracks, we must now talk to our taxi owners and our taxi operators, understanding that these men and women have kept this country on their shoulders for years. So we're not trying to hold them up as a scapegoat. But what we can say is that there is a requirement in law for taxis to be on the road for a specific amount of hours. Now they must be held to account for that. We must now say to taxi drivers, you cannot, miss I'll tell you a quick story, Mr. Speaker. I'm looking at the clock and I'm managing the time. Okay. Somerset, water, Somerset, uh, the, the, the little drawbridge, they have a little sports, uh, a little place where you go diving and, and jet skiing out and the name will escape me, and I apologize to the... And, and Robinson Somerset Bridge Water Sport, owned by uh, Mr. Roach. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of their biggest patrons is the Lister family, indeed. And... Low blow. Uh, the, the taxi has... It's called. A gentleman has gone out on a jet ski, and he's gotten injured. He comes back. He and his wife, they're disheveled. They're upset. He is hurt. The taxi driver comes. He notices that the tourist is soaking wet. His first words were, you cannot get in my taxi wet. He says, listen, my leg, look at it. It's going to the side. Clearly, my leg is broken. I cannot get a, 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 uh, a ambulance because I'm not insured in Bermuda. It will cost hundreds of thousands. All I need to get in the taxi, I can go back inside, change my place. And listen, I cannot put you in my taxi wet. The people come from out of the local store. They come over and they say, listen, what can we do? We, we don't have our cars with him. Please, this man's leg's broken. He's in pain. The taxi driver says, listen, this, now watch this. He's not being difficult. The taxi driver says, this is my bread and butter. I cannot put him wet in my taxi. This man is breathing in pain. The taxi driver says, the only thing I can do as a compromise is put you in the trunk. He takes the tourist and two workers take him he opens up the trunk, he takes out the WD-40, he takes out the armor roll, and he takes the tourist, and he places the tourist in the hatchback of the car, and he goes down the street. Now, here's the thing. I do not want to, or highlight this as, and I highlight this as an anomaly, because I know, as I say this, there are taxi drivers that are sitting in the cab rank at Hamilton Princess, sitting in the cab rank at the airport, that by the sweat of their brow make their living every day. They're honorable, they're noble, they work hard. Yes? So I will never, in this room, from this podium, decry the men and women that drive and earn taxis in Bermuda. I give that example to say that we have to have an honest conversation. We have to have a conversation about the, the nighttime economy, when people are saying they we have pushed, we have pushed that you cannot drink and drive, that if you're going to drive, leave your cars at home. Then what does that mean? 
We must have taxis on the road to get people backwards and forwards. Ask the restauranteurs, what is the thing that they want to see most on in Bermuda? Ask the hoteliers, what is the thing that they want to see most in Bermuda? If we don't have these honest conversations without guile, without fear, honest conversations, we must now all come to the table. The transportation issue in this country, and guess what? I will not decry my brother, the Minister of Tourism, Minister of Transport, but we have to get the buses on the South Shore. This is for tourism on a different schedule. Have you been outside at six o'clock in the summer and seen 300 tourists lying in the side of the street? How at Rangers? This is our responsibility. And guess what? Just like I will not criticize taxi drivers, you are not gonna see me criticize my brother minister or the men and women that drive the PTB. We're talking about collective responsibility. If we're talking about what we need to do differently, let's speak truth to power. This is our tourism product. We find ourselves easy, not realizing that, guess what? Can I go a little further, Mr. Speaker? We have to understand that service does not mean servitude. Mm -hmm. So people are saying when they come to Bermuda, they're going to a hotel and they're spending $700 a night and people are not nice, they're not friendly. That our people, whether it's customer service on the telephones, whether it's customer service when you go into one of our utility companies, people are saying that we have confused service with servitude. Now here's the, here's the thing, because this is going around in equal, equal, equal measure, we have to pay people properly. We have to understand the pay paradigm and that we have to make sure that people have the ability to rise.